Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will mainly see what are the interview questions which are asked uh, for APM. So let's start. So the first question somebody can ask you, what is APM? So if for this question, you just have to answer that the APM is an open source tool and it is required to do the automation for native hybrid application. And if you want to run your scripts, your Selenium scripts on uh, Android phone on the web. Okay, so these are all the three things which we can do on APM. And APM is considered to be a cross platform. As I say here also, APM is considered as a cross platform that will allow you to write your test and, uh, you know, which can run on multiple platforms like iOS and Android. Okay, so in iOS and Android, they use the same API. So you have to use the same client binding on the iOS and API, uh, on the iOS and on the Android. So you don't have to change your program if you are running your program on, uh, on Android or in iOS. Okay, so that is the main advantage of APM that it is a cross platform. You don't have to write a different prog uh, programs as per the different platforms. Okay, so that's a, that's the reason people use APM nowadays more. Okay, what are the mobile web apps? Okay, so what are the web apps basically? So any websites which you open on the desktop, like you know, you open any website on your Chrome, on Firefox, the same thing you can open on your Android phone also, because on Android phone also they provide certain browsers and we can open our website there. So that is the web apps. Okay. Uh, what are the hybrid apps so see what hybrid apps are because nowadays what happened you know sometime uh, we don't have just native apps so maybe if you have seen the app before in which we are working upon that's also one of the hybrid app let me see if I can show you that uh, let me open visor okay so basically what in hybrid apps happen that most part of the app is in uh, native so they are you know created through a native language and the uh, few screens are of the hybrid one okay so it seems not able to find my let me just check so if you know if you want to check that if your device is connected or not you can type adb devices okay All right, so this device is connected. It show view here. If I click on that, it will show me the application. All right, and my application is this one, Selenoid Test App. So if you click on this, you will see here. This is my you know web part. So if I click here, okay. So see, this is something you know like we get in the HTML pages. Okay, like on the websites. So even though it's a hybrid app, but some of the portion would be, you know, in the in the web part. So that is called the hybrid application. And there's a way to handle that in in APM. How to handle the, the you know hybrid application. Nowadays, you know, most of the applications are hybrid app. Okay, let me just close that. All right, now, okay. Name the language that is used to write test in APM. So the test in APM can be written in many languages. It can be Java, it can be Ruby, or it can be something else also. Python can be, it can be written in any language. And the basic thing is APM is nothing but an HTTP server. So what uh, APM is, so you know that for APM, we have the APM client and APM server. So Internally, it's an HTTP server and it is important that the test should be interference with the APM and it's use HTTP library. So basically, there are some libraries given uh, which are on the HTTP and APM use those libraries to interact. Okay. All right. So after that, uh, what are the prerequisite to use the APM? So if you know, there's one video which I have uh, posted for prerequisite in which we have, you know, uh, talked about the Eclipse IDE, the Android SDK. So basically, if you download the Android, it will download the Android SDK. Also, you can even download it separately. Other is test ng, so you can use test ng, j, j unit, j behave, any framework which you want. So you should have that. And another is the web driver language binding. So if you know, we have also you know downloaded one jar for its binding, and you should have Java installed. That is JDK, 
and you can also install apk app from the google play that can help you to know the package name and the activity name of any apk and uh, you should have a selenium server jar files because if you are you know using selenium commands in that you should have this jar file and you should have a apm client installed okay all right so for installing the apm client you know we have to download node.js also so if you see the video that will be the detail this is just a summary of what we want okay what are the advantages of using apm so there are many advantages of using apm okay so the first is using the same api apm will allow to write test data against any mobile platform so as we talked before you know it can be written uh, it can be executed on ios it can be executed on android we just have to write our program once okay by using any kind of a test framework of language we can write and run the test so yes we can use test ng we can use junit we can use any framework like page object pattern keyword driven framework and uh, you know we can write our test cases uh, in that framework for apm also okay apm is an open source platform and you can contribute to it easily so apm is not a paid tool it's a free tool you can use it free you can contribute it free also okay for the hybrid mobile application native uh, native apm provides cross platform so yes it's a cross platform and uh, you can automate hybrid application you can automate native application in that also apm supports json wire protocol so for communication purpose it supports json wire protocol it supports the communication through the api and using that json wire protocol which is also over http okay apm do not require recompilation of app so there were many of the automation uh, tool which need that we need to recompile our app again and again if you want to execute the test but apm does not want that you recompile your app the actual source code it doesn't need that it just need one apk file it does not need the source code of an application and then you put your source code into the android then you compile it or put your source code into the eclipse then you compile it no not needed for apm apm also supports automation test on physical devices and also for simulator and emulators okay so basically in apm you can test the device you can test on devices actual devices or maybe you can just test on simulator or emulator as we have many you know uh, emulator available like genie motion and all the all other things so you can test on those also but as per my experience if you're testing just make it sure you're testing on the actual devices because it has actual environment okay all right what are the requirements to write the apm test so the requirements are you should have a client library okay so first of all because if you don't have the client library then you know you will not be able to make an http connection you should have an apm session so whenever you run apm commands you will see in the apm server uh, uh, the apm server you know it is running some sessions so it has to connect it has to create a session we have seen the same in selenium also first it create a session before running any command same thing here okay desired capabilities yes so for running in apm you know that we are always giving some capabilities which are this one okay so it needs some desired capabilities through which it can you know uh, put a configuration like the in which mode you want to run your apm server okay driver commands in apm you have to facilitate write the test by using a big and expensive collection of commands so yes we have to give certain commands so that you know we can work with apm like touch actions and all the commands which we use okay and uh, eighth uh, name what is apm inspector so just like in selenium ide through which we can playback and record we can use uh, apm inspector also but apm inspector does not work well in windows so we have used ui automator to inspect the element okay but apm inspector is also one of the way through which we can inspect the element all right so when we talk about you know when we do it in ios then we will use more of our apm inspector explain the design of apm so how the design is made for the apm all right so apm is considered as an http server so it is basically an hypertext transfer protocol server that is written using node.js platform okay it runs on both android ios session with the help of web driver json wire protocol so we have already talked about that it can be run on android and ios and it uses the json wire protocol after the download installation of the apm is completed server is set up on the machine which exposes a rest api so basically all the apis through which apm interact we are using a rest api so 
if you know that we have one video with Jock about how that how to perform the rest, uh, you know, how to perform testing in the rest. So please look into that uh, for that video to know more about REST API. But for now, just understand that APM is also using a REST API for communication purpose. Okay. APM also receives connections and command requests from the clients. These commands are then executed on mobile device. That is correct. And generally, APM respond back with an HTTP response. So basically, you know, there are some certain commands, certain, you know, commands which APM do, and uh, it receives the response also in HTTP. Okay. To execute the request, APM use mobile test automation framework so that it can drive the user interface. So basically, the framework which is used by the APM is called the also called the mobile test automation framework, and these framework are the UI automator. Okay, if your Android API level is six, so what is API? So this is basically related to the version which you're using. Okay, so each version which you use, like uh, a uh, version six, seven, eight, nine, whatever version you have on Android, it depends upon the API level. Okay, for example, you know API 16 to 17, let's say it's Android 4. From Android 17 to 20 API, it's uh, Android 6 and all those things. So basically, we use UI Automator if my API level is greater than 16. And uh, for Apple, we use uh, for Apple instrument is you is used for the iOS platform. And if it is less than 16, like 15 and lesser than that, then we use the cell Android as an automation framework. OK, how can you find DOM element or XPath in case of mobile application? So, you know, for Android, we are using UI Automator Viewer to find the XPath and to find the elements in DOM. OK, name the type of errors that you can face in APM. So there can be many kind of error which we can face. Uh, the first type is this type of error occur when there is a need of desired capabilities. Yes, so we know that we know we need to provide these errors. If you don't provide these, it will give us some kind of error. OK, so these are the desired capabilities error. Uh, the another error is these types of error can occur when you cannot find ADB to avoid this type of error. You uh, can provide by setting the Android home environment. So, you know, uh, there are various things which uh, internally APM do and uh, we should configure the ADB and we should have a ADB installed which comes with Android SDK and we have to make sure we have to give a proper path so that it can detect the ADB. So example, like the way I have given ADB devices. So we should have, you know, these command running. Uh, if it's not running, that's mean there's some problem with the paths which we have given, which is explained in the setup video. OK, the another is if in some reasons a session is not created, maybe your server is down at that point of time. Maybe you have not turned on the APM server. It gave you that session is not created or if that it is turned on, but somehow, you know, it is off from the back end. You have to just restart your APM server. So that time it gave you this kind of error. Another er error is you can say when sometime it is not able to find an element in uh, the DOM and we gave certain error from there also. OK. So what is an underlying APM? What is an underlying API APM follows? So basically APM is an extension of Selenium. Okay, so Selenium is the one which APM uses. There are many, many, mostly all the things, uh, all the APIs of Selenium are used in a, 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 APM also. So underlying uh, API is Selenium. How can you inspect element that are present in native Android app? So we talked about this, we use UI Automator. Okay, simple. Is it possible to start an APM server programmatically? Yes, it is done. So basically we can start the APM through command prompt also and we can use the same command prompt in our script also. Either we can create uh, some bat file where we have all the commands or we can directly give our script also. That is possible. There is a video for that so you can check out that in my, uh, in my series. Mention the method which can use to swipe in APM. So very simple. We can use touch action class and we can use dot press method of that to swipe in the APM. Please see in the videos for more details. Okay. Give the difference between the emulator and simulator. So mainly simulator is used in the iOS and emulator is used in Android device. So both works in the same way. It is like a virtual device you can say to run our test cases. Is it possible to use the ADB command the script so that like the way we have run here, they are they are almost you know for every every activity which we do on mobile there is an ADB command for that and internally these are the ADB commands which get hit 
on mobile and on the basis of that any action happens like example if you want to turn on the Wi-Fi we click on the you know the Wi-Fi portion there's a ADB command for Wi-Fi which uh, runs on the OS of uh, mobile okay if you want to turn on the NFC you can turn on the NFC also by giving ADB command by yourself or just clicking on the link of uh, you know turn on the a NFC on the mobile so let's say if I want to turn on the uh, turn on the uh, you know uh, NFC on my mobile through script how will I do that very simple uh, yes so you can do runtime dot get runtime so this is a, one kind of a Java class which we used to execute any third-party software to execute any third-party commands so we are giving runtime dot get runtime dot execute and then here we can give our ADB command okay so this is an ADB command to turn on the NFC all right so if you look into Google you will get many commands is it possible to interact using JavaScript with my app while my uh, with the APM test running yes it is possible to use the JavaScript and this is how you do it so we can use JS executor like this if you remember the same way we interact in selenium also so that is possible in APM, APM also okay what are the basic commands that I can use in selenium protocol okay so what you can do in selenium basically you can locate the web element in web view all right you can raise the event on located element click so basically it is asking that uh, you know what other other things you can do in uh, APM which have the selenium protocol which are based on selenium so as I told you in APM we also have the hybrid application in hybrid application few pages are web view so for inspecting an element of those web view we cannot use the UI automator there's a different way to do that okay for example uh, okay let me show you one three one three okay all right let's say visor okay so I have not created a video for that but I will soon I will create it so there are some application you know there like there are apps but inside the app they opens a web page okay so let's assume that we are inside an app and uh, there is a web page open on that well, let me just open okay so assume that uh, this is opened inside the app if you look into with the UI automator you will not be able to find any element in that but for that what uh, selenium uh, APM tells us that you know you can just call one of the API of Chrome so you have to give Chrome and then you have to call the API URLs okay this is one of the API and then you have to call the API inspect okay when you call the inspect let me just do it again yeah so it will give you this whatever is open in your screen of mobile and you just click on inspect and now whatever the web you have it will come here like this and you can just click on that and you can know see uh, it will find it out with with that okay just inspect that okay so it will you know just find out just like the way we do in selenium we can do the web view also we just have to make sure we are calling this api inspect and then hash devices it will inspect the element on the web view okay all right let's close this close this close this okay okay uh, okay so it can work with web view it can raise the event uh, by click so we we can you know we can also click on some of the things we can type into a text box all right we can execute JavaScript code that is also correct it is all basically related to the selenium okay so these are all the things which we can do all right and it can also detect the alert box because sometimes we do all get an alert box in uh, in our application it can detect that also so that is also done what are the main advantage of using APM on soft slab or perfecto so what are these okay so these are nothing but uh, you know the cloud services which these websites are providing 
cloud services means instead of having our own device or emulator they provide the devices on the cloud that's mean that there are some physical devices which are connected to their server and we can you know use them we can purchase a license or maybe we can purchase a free license if you know they are providing it and through that license there's a cost for that we can use their devices which is attached to their server and it will show you on your screen just like an emulator but that's not an emulator that's a real device which they use and they are located on different uh, location so if i want i want to test something on location in america i can just choose that device i want i just want to see if my mobile uh, application are working fine if my location is canada i can use a canada device and those are the actual devices which are there but we have to purchase a license for that so that can cost you like you know i am not sure about the amount but there is some dollar amount which you have to pay every month or every year for that license okay but in a big company you know these are very handy they can spend that money and then you don't have to purchase a device because device purchasing is you know it's very costly nowadays any good device come to around 20000 rupees but uh, if you purchase a license that may cost you 20000 rupees for the entire suit of devices so it's always good that if you are working in a big company always go for source labs or perfecto instead of having the you know own devices but if you cannot purchase a license if your requirement is less you don't want 20 50 devices just purchase one or two devices and work on that uh, i will not prefer you know simulators or emulators okay can you run the multi thread test in apm yes we can do the test on the multi threading which i will explain you in one of the video i have not done yet but i will planning to do that okay so we will just stop it here at the multi threading in the next video i will continue that and i will try to finish this uh, interview and uh, i will give the link of this in the in the description section and also one more thing please don't jump on to these uh, uh, these series till the time you have not gone through that apm series and of course if you want you know uh, to go through selenium series go through that that will give you more confidence but please don't jump on these interview series it will be of no use you will not remember anything in your interview so please go ahead first look into the video series practice it and then only go to this video series for the interview all right thank you